going to catch up now with Mike Max, who is in St. Paul. Hi there, Mike. Hello, Amelia. Yeah, we're not far from the Midway section, and that means something different, of course, this week, given what happened last week. The name of the building behind me is Gordon Parks High School. Gordon Parks is one of the most accomplished African-American artists ever to come out of the state of Minnesota. This is an alternative high school, part of the St. Paul City Conference, but an alternative high school for kids that maybe struggle a little bit, and they're struggling with different things right now. But there is also a spirit, and they are determined, determined to rebuild it despite the turmoil of this past week. The mural on the outside of the building is that of Gordon Parks. It is Gordon Parks High School, and he is a legend in the African-American community. The um, legendary acclaimed photographer, Gordon Parks, who was the first black photographer for Life magazine and Vogue magazine, and he was the first black director to make a feature film in Hollywood. She is his great-grandniece, and they work together. She now works at the school named in his honor, a school that was ravaged by fires. I screamed seeing the flames in trash cans in the cafeteria, seeing windows broken, seeing the school vandalized. People who are fighting for the justice of a black man going to torch a building with the black man on the front of it. Parks was ahead of his time. He had decided that the camera was his greatest weapon. And with it, he would fight racism and inequity. He did. He was a star, nationally. And he was the type that they wanted people to aspire to be like. As Uncle Gordon often said, shooting my camera proved to be more powerful than shooting a gun. And now they must rebuild his school. They will do so. Not just because the boards will come down and be replaced by windows again, but because this school has a spirit, a spirit that cannot be denied. So what do you tell the kids? What do we tell the kids? It's like, we will rise from these ashes. Indeed they will. And I'll tell you, Frank and Amelia, on Friday, they will give out diplomas. And the, the kids that graduate from the class of 2020 will come into the parking lot and receive their diplomas. What an education, 2020 here and beyond, but certainly right here at Gordon Parks High School.